What's up guys, it's Burbank here, and we are going to be jumping back into some Slay the Spire Downfall. Last time, we got the win with the champ. Actually, went all the way up to defeating the owl. Uh, we've done that with the guardian and the champ. This time, though, we are going to go in Ascension 1 with the automaton. Um, I'm excited to get back to him since he is the newer character. I'm excited to play him some more and see some of their cards. Um, remove two cards, upgrade a card, obtain a random common relic. I kind of like the remove two cards if it doesn't like impede our path anyway. Um, we got more leads to spawning, but they look like they're spawning at the end. I kind of like this elite rest elite, like this like path right here. We can get another rest in that, but this kind of, eh, it's actually not. We got three question marks. You got a shop. We miss out on the Emerald Elite. Or we could go this side. Or so it's either one more elite or one more rest. It would just suck if we get to here. Well we could rest here if we need to. And we also could split off if we couldn't take another elite. I think we're gonna go the spicy three elites here. I think I will remove two cards. Make our deck a little more consistent. Let's get back to replicate faster if I'm thinking. Because um, it is a good card. We are going to recall here for that extra point of strength once we get to it. Um, go to here, get that in there, and strike, strike. I was hoping to get replicate to go ahead and form this function here. But we'll get it on this. Go around, and the ability to play one block here is pretty good. So, I hope everyone's doing good. It's a Sunday for me. I'm trying to get my recordings for the week done. I think I have one more of the slime bound tomorrow, but I've been pretty busy today trying to get some of these done. Had some fun runs uh, and trying to think about what games I want to start playing besides Slay the Spire. But since I've been trying to get the runs through, um, I have not decided. I have some ideas though. Uh, I think <sighs> Fact Trace or Digital Carnage are both very good here. Um, and Terminator's the new card I think we've seen at the end of last time. Uh, we just gotta remember to play card because the zero. I don't know what we double currently. Like, I don't have... I think I'd rather have Digital Carnage for the hard damage currently. Um, for some of these, like, elite fights we're gonna be going through. And, uh, we need a lot... Uh, do I take the regret? I always regret it. Ornamental Fan, play three attacks, uh, gain four block. I usually regret the regret, but at the same time... Um, I still took it. A drone factory stumbled upon one of the exorbiums run down drone factory. Surprisingly, the controls still seem to work. It powered up and dismantled some of these spike-like machines. You can inherit some of their weapons. Gain a spike, uh, which is three damage in cone. Gain three thorns for on the compile. Not bad. Um, five damage, five block. Uh, insert two dazed or insert a bone and code. Um, Compile uh, 15 to all enemies. On the compile. I think I like the spike and the dazzling post. I don't think I really want the extra burns currently. This one gives us two days on the the on the compile error. Um, but this one gives us a burn every time we use it to compile it. So Well this one is does it have a compile error though? This one's give us a small block to be a little bit more defensive. Hmm. I'm actually thinking these two. Now, after like talking about three damage is not great in the thorns, I don't think we're playing defensive enough currently. Um, the block helps replace one of the defenses we've already used, and the AoE will help us with some of the uh, elite fights. We'll do begin combat. Also, I don't want to fight the spiker as much. No, this is not as fun of a not as fun of a starting fight. A little block from the Ornamental Fan there. Uh, we can grab you out. Get you out of here. We will block here. So, um, back to what I was saying. I'm looking at uh, getting back into RimWorld. I was kind of letting some more of the updates and some different things kind of come out um, for the um, for RimWorld. I, I tried picking it up a few weeks ago at this point, uh, like right before the, the new year. Um, and I found that a lot of the mods felt kind of samey uh, as the first one we had done in 
that had uh, lost for the 1.2. So I was kind of letting some new stuff come out, um, wait for the end of the year, let a couple more updates come out and see what I could get back to um, in terms of RimWorld. And then the other one, I think I may have mentioned it, eh, it's probably been a couple episodes back now, uh, is uh, Darkest Dungeon. I, I still have, haven't decided if I'm doing a standard run or a modded run. And if I'm doing modded, I have to get the mods and this, that, and the other. So I'm still trying to decide on that front too. But those are the two I'm looking to get back into currently. Um, besides that, I'm still going to be doing Downfall for a while um, because it's the one I enjoy playing. Um, okay, now to make a decision here. As I was looking, Delayed Guard Boost and Buggy Mess. The extra strength, I just don't have a real engine for it yet. I think maybe having the extra energy to play out the um, Digital Carnage could be good. Um, we have these two, which are fine. I think I'm going to skip here. I, I wasn't excited for any of those, really. And we are going this one, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay, Digital Carnage here is going to be good. Block. Ooh, we cannot do both. We cannot do block again. We'll do defend and we'll actually do the explode currently. Let the digital carnage go. Replicate. Strike. Strike. Defend. Try not take damage from the burn. Ooh, gross. Regret on this one. I'm hoping I can just bust it, just kill him with that. Uh, follow the return wild beam. Get an engine, draw one additional card. Turn and gain one energy exhaust. And it does, it goes to plus one, right? It doesn't exhaust. So it's always at least one energy. Um, you get one back. So even if you play it on a... See, I think I took this last time. And it ended up not being great. I think I'd rather have follow through. I think it'll be more useful for us. Upgrade three random cards. Become, get cursed flawed. Go to replicate uh, and a defend. I'm fine with that, actually. Ooh, Rusty Nail. Perhaps could be reforged. I think uh, on the third, I don't know how this actually works. It's like on the third floor, usually you would reform this. Uh, or, or you do it at the rest sites, and you gotta do it like three rest. And your first attack, I think, is played double. We'll take it. I don't remember what the nail, but since we have so many rests coming up, it could be worth doing. I think it can be reformed at rest sites, if I remember right. Uh, the regret in this hand kind of sucks. Digital carnage here, though. Uh, Dazzling Pulse, I'm fine with that. And then we want maybe replicate, drop out the flawed, because that sucks. And then play this out for damage and get another five block and another bit of damage in here, which is pretty good. That was a very good function we made. Um, explode here is good. Go to here is good. Uh, got a bunch of the cards, the garbage out of our deck um, in the dazes and the burn. I think we can hit him pretty good if we, yeah. So it's Digital Pulse is the one. It's a... Uh, if the last card played. So function first. And then follow through... No replicate takes any more damage here. Right. Bar, direct, oh no, it's only 6 damage. Oh, so the 15 on the compile for explode is on the compile. But then the encode is just insert a burn. Interesting. So actually follow through is more. Uh, I should have done that before replicate. I would have got a little bit more. Interesting. Okay. Spaghetti code. Until the secret is full, choose one of three random cards to add. That's pretty good. We haven't got to use that either. Blockchain's also good for blur. Uh, insert a void on the encode. Pretty good. I think I'll take spaghetti code here. Um, so we could try it out. See a couple of the different encode cards that maybe we haven't got to play around with as much. Another digital carnage that we can't take. We gotta take the the one that's on sale. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that. All right. Oh, gross. Um, well, it's gonna be spaghetti code for. Because do we get these effects or does it just just encode them? I would do. Safeguard for the block. No, we don't get their effects. Uh, compile gains two strength, so I want to do this. And you also get choices of constructor and stuff, which is kind of nice. And do this, so we'll get safe boost, which is just a ton of block. Yep, and then we can follow through after that. 
I kind of like spaghetti. That's pretty nice. Because it lets you, like, decide at the time you use it. But it does exhaust, which does suck. Um, digital carnage here. Replicate. I think a backtrace now. You know, the safeguard's pretty good. I don't want the frail. Backtrace is just a good, like, starting turn damage card. Uh, burst. Okay. Backtrace here. Dazzling Pulse, because it does make it exhaust, so whatever we put in there, we got to remember, will exhaust at the end. Take one from Regret here. They do have Regeneration, so this fight is made to go a little bit longer. Um, so I don't want to play it first. I want to play the Explode first, because this will exhaust this too. So that's actually a good combination, because you yeah, have the Insert of Burn, but this thing also exhausts. So the damage right here. One more burn, but it's gone. And then we Spaghetti Code for uh, an unplayable card, maybe? That gives us, because 18 damage coming in. This will give us 12 block. No, actually, this gives us nothing. Because on the compile, on the encode, you actually don't get this. You want things with good compile effects. I think, right? Let me see if that's right. Recursive. Um, recursive strike. And then boost. Yeah, you got none of the other effects. We just got this card right here. And then a simple strike off of that. I that does a bunch. Okay. So we actually are going to take a fair amount of damage here. I think instead I would rather blow one of you up. Makes more sense. Okay, I'll do this. Digital Carnage will... If I didn't do the flawed one, I would have got him. Um, do this instead. We'll take nine more here, but that's fine. Uh, we will not take any more, hopefully. Cool. War paint. Upgrade two uh, two different skills. This combat. Let's see if there's any other ones. Overload copy card in the sequence. They do not exhaust. Encode of each card in the sequence. Definitely interesting. I just don't know what we'd put up there currently. We'll try it though. War paint. Encode and spaghetti code. Okay. Or, uh, I said encode, but I meant explode. You know, similar words, right? No, we do not do the old mail here. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I think I just want more raw damage with digital carnage. Even though it becomes, a, like, whatever you make becomes ethereal. I'm not too sad about that. This is a pretty good, so do this. Replicate. Overload, so we play two more of those. And then we'll defend for one, so we only take one damage here. Um, dazzling Pulse. And then we do this. And then follow through to play it twice. Got plenty of block here. And then hit him again. All right, spaghetti code, desert cardinals. Ugh. Oh well, flaw's fine here. Almost. I'll lose one card out of this, uh, which would be I think I'll lose explode here. So I want to do well. Whatever I had to play with spaghetti code, I might not get because I have that the energy to cast it. So I should do this first. Um, and see if I can get something that's zero fully. The power is gain vulnerable. On the uh, okay, this was a weird like decision makes. Well, they'll have this when we play it actually. Game one strength, but we'll also they get the compile error effect. Um, so I still think I do. Validate. Uh, validate backtrace and I'll get yeah a bunch of vulnerability and stuff do that for them we are vulnerable now though so they are gonna hit us harder but we killed them so worked out metronome for every attack we gain uh, strength up to 10 another overload I don't think that's quite right hmm separator maybe eh, no Front load. I think we'll try front load in here. All right. I think I will go ahead and ooh, I can break one of these. We'll do the strength here, and I think I will rest. All right. Another elite fight. Oh, Sentinels again. Okay. 
Um, back trace, explode. I think front line first thing, 15 across, or 20 across on the upgrade. And then I can do eight more here and gain 12 more block. I re retain that, so that's fine. No reason to go ahead and play it now. It's gonna be better on this turn. Um, do this. And then I'm just gonna play these two and let Flawed eat the rest of this, eat that burn, I guess. Is ethereal. That's fine. So turn a burn into a uh, slime. Digital carnage is awesome here. Boop, and then we will boop, and then I can't play that one. Doesn't matter though. <laughs> oh, courier goes good for the merchants. I love that they updated the courier to be purple uh, with the red eyes. I think it's super good. Um, we have the strength. It rates pretty good. Like, we're just making, like, a good encode deck. Uh, encode the option that's not chosen. I think we won't iterate. It's pretty good. Okay, so we want to backtrace here. And then we... Uh, this one's the compile is not... Like, I don't want to add a burn. It's on the compile that it's good. So I'd want to... Overload, defend, explode here would be the correct ordering. And then we want to do something like, uh, do I want, yeah, we want to do this specifically, and then we'll do this, yeah. And then we would have um, used the follow through for the doubling. Another spaghetti code, it's definitely interesting. I'll, I'll give it that. You can make some interesting effects. Okay, infinite loop would be very good, actually. On the compile, you add another one to your hand. But dark dash is also really good here. Eight damage and eight block. I think I'll have the infinite loop. I think I want the fortify. And I think I want the digital carnage. Yep, because I'll do this for a ton of damage. Then I can backtrace. I got two infinite loop iterate. I don't have any block yet though, so I'm gonna take nine unless I play this. So I think it's infinite loop defend. Infinite loop has a great home in the deck. Because then I do something like overload for damage. Then, oh, he's doing some damage here. I really want these cards back though. Go to maybe. And then I have one. I want to play this again for just more damage to card draw. Oh, gross. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. Oh, that sucks. Well, oh man. That hurts our chances of winning. That just filled our, di our pile with so much nonsense. And there's the regret, okay. Replicate. Oh, I did not do that right. Uh, I still cannot. No, I cannot do that. Uh, Dazzling Pulse. Uh, iterate. I can't play it yet. Well, I can play it, but I can't follow through afterwards. So. Regret hurts. I think we can still get through this. Yeah, with this card. Yeah, but that still was like a bad... I need to remove... I forgot that I, that could happen. With drawing a watercolor, I need to remove the flaw. Uh, clean code is good. Helps us not worry about um, what we're compiling. I like it. Uh, first three function, you create the combat cost here until played. That's pretty good. Until played, though, I, I kind of would rather just have Cursed Key. This character has a lot of access to uh, ways to remove curses, but some of those curses suck. Hmm. Could you do all cards cost zero? If you had three, oh, we don't actually have it. Um, infinite loops. Is that just an infinite with the black hole from Hubris? Because any card that entered discard pile is exhausted. But you, every time you compile, you only get one though. So it wouldn't work that way, unfortunately. Well, no, they each 
I'd have to look at it. Do they each compile and give you one? I don't think so. I think that's... No, they would. I think that would work. I think you could do that infinitely. I don't, I don't think we'd get it right now, but it could be something fun to try. Uh, I think I'm just going to take Curse Key. I don't see a reason why not. Platinum Core would be good. Um, actually, I'll take Platinum Core. Because three free functions could just end a lot of fights, honestly, now that I think about it. And I want this early shot, properly. Unless this is the path we decide. Um, elites, what do we got? You can do two elites max. And this is kind of the path I'm thinking. Here. Um, here. Here, 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 here. Yep, okay. Uh, I don't really need the deck yet. I'd rather smith the clean code. Or the other spaghetti code. Um, clean code. I think it's be better. Just in just in case. So we can have more options for cards we take with compile. And I feel less bad for the um, spaghetti codes that we play. Okay. Um, I play all three of these, I guess. Back trace, explode, frontline. That's free with retain. I don't need it yet, so we wait until this turn. Another flaw. You suck, flawed. But we do spaghetti bomb. Add the burn. Then we spaghetti code. Blockchain is just really good. Another blockchain is also really good. But we could take another front load to have another. And eh, no, I'll do this. And then. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I think dark dash. So a bunch of blur and a bunch of block. I'm actually kind of fine that flaw goes off here. Those, I, I don't mind what I'm losing. Okay. Car digital Carnage here with the Spaghetti Code. Hmm. Spaghetti Code first, Digital Carnage, Replicate. Spaghetti Code, Follow Through, Digital Carnage, Replicate. I can't do all that. We'll start with this. So we get. <laughs> uh, Flail is very good. Digital Carnage is very good. Recursive Strikes is also very good. Just a good stuff thing. It could be enough damage to kill him. It is now. Okay, fine tuning could be good, but I don't think we'll. I don't think we're setting up that way. We're just building a lot of functions. Terminator is just good. Take Terminator. It's just good for building functions. Okay. Um. Well, this is a weird one. Uh. I don't think I play the second spaghetti code currently. Ooh, early access. This early is pretty good. And then Digital Carnage, maybe. And then Terminator as the last one. This is nasty. This is very nasty. <laughs> 200 damage. I could just follow through and then save, and I'll save the other spaghetti code for later. Follow through, backtrace. I think I wait. I could go too, but I'm afraid I'll draw the whatchamacallit. But I don't care. Go to. Replicate. Actually, super fine. Do this. Regret kind of sucks here, but it's better than uh, Flawed. Flawed is here, though, so I will play you. Um, I cannot... I don't get... Heal Necromantic Totem. I don't know what that means. Negative energy. I think I'm just going to clean code... No, actually, I, well, I take it 15, but I can't block it all anyway. So do I clean code or do I compile carnage? Clean code, and then we'll we'll carnage on the next loop. Because we have some cards to like to draw a bunch of cards. Um, iterate, explode, beta build just for fun, and then we do this to hit you. We're just really trying to just to bring as much damage as we can. Okay, ooh. There's full release, but I don't think we can do it. Like, for it to make sense. There's so many negative energies. Um, what sucks is we did not get anything good to compile. Also, they changed full release. It used to be a three cost, now it's a one cost. Interesting. I can't compile a function with it. 
but I think we did totally fine here. In terms of like damage we did to the merchant, we almost killed him in one one encounter. Okay, burnout. Change you for all statuses card for all of your status cards, and then exhaust them and start three burns. No. Mm. Choose a card in the secrets and return to your hand. It gains retain. No, I think we're good here. Uh, ooh, ooh, ten foot pole is very good, and there's a lot of times. They could save us a lot of HP. We couldn't remove them though. We get one or the other. We could take Tim Foot Paul Repulse. No, we can't. No, we can't. All parts are reduced and they restock relics. Flaw is just, just going to get me killed. I got to remove it. Like. It's, it's just bad for me. <laughs> oh, we can get Repulsor still. To deal with the regret, maybe? In any statuses? I kind of like that. We'll take that. Just to help with our compile problems. We'll go here. Okay. Um, no spaghetti code first. Boost. Digital Carnage. Uh, recursive Strike. Just for tons of damage here. And then back trace, and that. There we go. We are really strong on the like on the first couple cycles. Smoke bomb's not good. Energy push is. Another follow through is good. We're creating a lot of functions, and a lot of them are like playable at the same turn. Ooh, I don't know if I've seen this one. Uh, knowing the skull, you find yourself in an odd decorated chamber, and the center room is a very large skull. Post top, you approach it, and the skull bursts into flames, and turns to face you. What is it that you seek? What is it that you offer? In sync with its final words, the door behind you slams shut. Ooh, that was a weird noise. Um, I mean, I want to obtain the skull. Like, 7 HP is not bad. Knowing skull. At the start of each combat, you may wish for the soul. For a soul. Or you may wish for souls. Success or pick me up. I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means at all. Uh, okay. Combat here. Okay. Oh, here it is. Ethereal. Spend HP to wish for souls. Success or pick me up. I don't know what that means. I have to play it though, right? Okay, here it is. Lose 3 HP to gain 40 souls. Lose 1 HP. Or lose 5 HP to gain a random potion. I mean, we just gained the souls, right? That's fine. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, I want a spaghetti code here for some block more than anything. Uh, compile error effect. I like two decks here is good. This is good. Ooh, that kind of sucks. No block. All right, and then I play, but I got block and follow through actually. Now that I think about it, and then follow through on you, and then backtrace on you. So we're completely blocked, and we get we get to keep, continue what we're doing. Ooh, we're great here. Kind of sucks. Repulsor would have been better when we got it. Uh, you're dead. And then if I overload, I think you're also dead. Yep. Keeping two digital cartridges up there and then overloading over and over would be a deck for each status in your draw for each status in your draw pile. That could be a lot, especially if you had that on like your first turn. Um, I think I'm fine here. Yeah. Do I want another shop? I don't think I do. That doesn't have another question mark. All these switch soon. There's that dex for the key. Um, we were going this way, right? Yeah. Mm, yeah. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. That's the better path. I had to, I had to think about it. Heal 28 HP. Actually, not bad here. That way I can smith here. It's pretty much what we're paying for. And the smith on Terminator would be really good. But I also think the spaghetti code smith is even more important. Okay, elite. How are you? Book of stabbing? I don't like you that much, but okay. I think I'm just going to let you pass this time. Okay. Weakness would be good. Really good on you. Mm. I think I'll just take the block. Do I want the decks? 
Yeah, deck some damage, and then we will take the strength and block here. And then it's just blocks. It's just a ton of things. Okay. And we have four strength now. Do that. We've not taken any damage, so I'm just going to do that. And we'll let the rest go. Oh, the knowing skull would have been fine, because I, I just healed. That's fine, though. Um, clean code is good here. Also, just doing replicate overload. Pretty good. And then I could just clean code. I'm taking 18, but I don't think I have really a choice in that. It's either clean code or repulsor. I think repulsor is going to be better. I mean, clean code. Ow. That hurt. Because then I can spaghetti. Well, I want to terminate her first, and then we'll play this for it twice. And then we're going to spaghetti code here. I can make him vulnerable, or I can recursive strike. Do I want damage? I have one more energy. I can play the explode here. So I think I'm just going to go for full damage. Flail and recursive strike. Yeah. And then I can do that. Yep, that ends up. Well, like more souls when we climb floors. I wish he was purple. That'd be a cool, cool little effect here. Um, none of these. Wait, uh, no, I don't think we have that many air effects. I thought about it though. Okay, here we go. Lose, oh no, this isn't one. Lose wall bank for 150 souls. Or lose war bank for gain a rare card. Honestly, losing wall bank. How much do you give me a floor? 12. You, you did your job. I just sped up the process. Because we could break a key here, maybe. We could already done that, but... Oh, gross. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, it's still a spaghetti code first thing. Uh, da -da. Clean code first actually would have been better if I was worried about it, but I'm not. Oh, this is just a, a good part here. Yep. Yep, yep. I can kill you. I should, probably. I think I can still kill you either way. If not, it's not the worst, because I can backtrace here and I can replicate here. And then I'm just going to play Clean Code here, and then Knowing Skull for more souls. Okay. Because I'm thinking we could use this really well with the Courier to gain um, a lot more relics. That's kind of my idea. We'll see how well that works. We're going to follow through. I mean, Digital Carnage here. Damage. And then I was going to follow through if not. Ancient Potion's not necessary. None of those are either. Okay. Uh, break the Emerald Key, this is pretty good. We are going to go and, I think Repulsor. It's kind of a dead draw currently. And I really could use uh, energy from this fight. Will be my first kind of ideal thing to get. Because yeah, first one was the Platinum Core. Okay, we did not get what I would normally want. Uh, gain a random potion, that's not great. Add a color, one color, let's call it. Finesse? Probably fine. Repulsor actually could matter here. Yeah. Backtrace. I'm not going to play Explode yet, I don't think. Well, no, I want both both the things a lot. I could get more. So they're doing 12, 19. I actually want to do this. Add the Explode and then do the file throw here. As much block as I can get. Because they add wounds is why I thought Repulsor could be good here. Why it ended up mattering. Um, iterate here. Yep. And then Sneaky Bomb. Do that there. And then the goal is going to be Spaghetti Code for AoE. Um, well, front load here. Uh, piercing Shot here. Piercing Shot here. Play that. There we go. Follow through on you. And this fight is pretty much over. Next turn it is. And we did not do that bad. Replicate and you're dead. Cable Spool. Add a copy of the first uh, first card you play with in each combat. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. Merge Conflict is actually great. Next time you encode a card, encode a copy of it. Works perfectly fine for what we're doing. Okay, okay, okay. First, spaghetti code. So the first one I do, we're going to get a copy of it, right? Uh, that wore off. So we get one more, I think. I don't know how this is working. 
Um, I'm confused. We get... No, we just didn't... We lost pretty much the last one on the encode. No? It went to the next set. So all three of these encode, and then the first one went to the next set. Weird. Okay. And then we do... Okay. And then I have enough to do another set of these. So 12, you're dead. You're dead. And then encode just to do more AoE. And then kill this one. Weird the way it works. And we always have a card in our opening hand that works with that. Uh, I don't need it to feature. I have Repulsor to take care of all that. All right, bronze cores here. Kind of annoying. Um, okay, okay, okay. I think I want to spaghetti code. Um, the first one I add is going to add to my next one. I don't really want it to exhaust. So I think I'll do front load. Early access. Yep. Infinite loop. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Block here is great. Didn't mean to hit him, but that works. Um, we are going to back trace. We're going to replicate. Good block card. We will just keep in our hand. Because it's until played, right? Yep. And we're totally blocked. Uh, I should repulse her here just to have it, and then I will start up an infinite loop. Mostly so it's not in the hand for them to take. But they probably will take clean code, and they probably will... No, oh, they're not taking that one. Alright. Okay, okay. Nine coming in, so we're going to do this. Just going to kill one of them. Or try to. A spaghetti code here is going to be great. Dark dash. Dark dash. Okay, I forgot we had one of them already in there. Oh, we had an infinite loop in there, I think. Um, I want to. Well, I can't do both. Uh, I have I have plenty of blocks, so hit you with infinite loop, and then I want to overload to hit another infinite loop. That's fine. Hit me if you'd like. Panic button here. You can't get more blocks. Two voids his hand. One energy. Lovely. And he's attacking me for a lot. Um, well, I might as well do this. He's attacking me for 22. And I guess the, the correct card is to explode. Oh, 30, actually. And he takes the stinking block, I forgot. Not good. Digital Carnage Term Terminator is pretty good. But I, oh, well, Terminatoring this is not good actually. So I actually want to front load this. Okay. And then I need to kill some of this. I get one, but I can't defend then. Well, I got 14. I'm doing 20. I'll be down pretty low. E, 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 e. I can kill one. I can kill this one or I can block. Either way, they block do about the same. Actually, the defense is a little bit more and I can hope to kill them next turn. Yeah, and that's the quick move. I think. Yes, I'm down to eight here. I think I can kill both of these ones, maybe. Infinite bomb, 14 block. Oh, he's dealing 35 damage here. Okay, but I could do the damage to you and then follow through to play this twice. So I get 30. Yikes. I'm going to take this potion. We still might be dead, because these guys are blocking now. Alright. Um, dazzling, you're gone. Uh, I can replicate. I can go to. I can play nothing, because we die. Nine block here. We put me to 18. Yeah. Ah. Just, he's just faster than me, he's, and he's scaling. And this deck was doing so well. Oh well. It is what it is, I suppose. But, it's how the cookie crumbles. We did get a new unlock though, so. Refactor, infinite beam, and infinite loop. Oh, we didn't even have infinite loop in there. Uh, this is a set of cards I really want to play with. Um, I've seen them before. Uh, infinite Beam specifically, I'm excited for it. And I thought we had Infinite Loop already. 
but it is what it is. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.